Welcome back to the FlipNerd.com REI Classroom, where experts from across the real estate investing industry teach you quick lessons to take your business to the next level. And now, let's meet today's expert host. Hey everyone, Lex Levenrad over here, and welcome to today's REI Classroom show. And we're going to be talking about material costs and labor costs for rehabbing. This REI Classroom real estate lesson is sponsored by TheInvestorMachine.com. FlipNerd's private investor coaching program and your blueprint to investing success. Uh, briefly, what I want to do is break this down into two components. The first one is understanding material costs, and the second one is understanding labor costs. Now, of the two, materials are way easier because essentially everything you need to rehab a house you could find at your local home improvement store, like a Home Depot or a Lowe's. Uh, what I suggest you do, and I do this on all my boot camps with students, is take like a notepad or a yellow pad and go to Home Depot and go aisle by aisle. So actually go through the aisles looking at the different components. And what I want you to do is try and break it down by room. So let's say, for example, uh, let's start with a simple room, like a bedroom. So the components for a bedroom, you've got your flooring, which is either going to be a carpet or a tile or a laminate. You've got baseboards, paint, drywall, blinds ceiling fan, there's not a lot of components, right? Maybe you have a cupboard that it needs a bifold replaced. So now take those items and write them all down on a piece of paper or on your notepad, and then go to Home Depot and then look up the, the cost of those items. You know, see what baseboard will cost you per linear foot, what um, the drywall would cost you, what a door would cost you, what a bifold would cost you, and then do that throughout the rest of the house. So some of the more complicated, probably the most complicated room is the kitchen. So on the kitchen, you break it down into cabinets. You've got uh, base cabinets at the bottom, and then you've got wall cabinets at the top. And you've got a sink. Uh, typically on a rehab, you're going to be doing a double sink, like a uh, stainless steel um, double sink with faucets. And then you have appliances. So on the typical fix and flip that we do, uh, brand new stainless steel appliances, a four pack is $2,000. Cabinets, you can get some pretty decent cabinets at Home Depot for around $2,000. Uh, that's for the base cabinets and also for the upper. Uh, I recommend on fix and flips that you use granite and not for mica. And uh, that will run you probably around $35 a foot installed. And um, other than that, you've got your sink, you've got your water lines, you've got your faucets. There's not that many components. All right, so if you, as you go through a house, uh, a lot of beginners might look at something like a hole in the drywall and think, wow, that's a huge, uh, big problem. But it isn't. A piece of drywall is 8 by 4 uh, costs about $10. So uh, having someone do the work to replace that is not such a big issue. So understand the cost of the materials because it's very important. Uh, let's say if you're going to tile a house and you want to buy off-the-shelf Home Depot 16 by 16 tile, that's going to cost you around 70 cents a foot. You can usually in most markets find somebody to install that for around a dollar eighty a foot. So if you add the dollar eighty and the seventy, you're about a two fifty a foot. So on a thousand square foot house, that would be twenty five hundred dollars in tile. Now that exercise I just did with the tile, you can do with every component on the house. So if you look at a kitchen, you can say, well, the cabinets are going to be two thousand, appliances are going to be two thousand, uh, granite countertop is going to cost uh, another thousand or fifteen hundred. By the time you add it all up, your kitchen might cost you $6,000. Bathrooms, uh, you can do for $1,500, $2,000 a bathroom. So uh, just go through them one by one and understand the components. And the best way to do that is just going to Home Depot and going out by aisle. Um, you know, a lot of things look like a big deal, and you go and you see a brand new bathtub, $250. A brand new shower door is $150. Uh, the tile that goes around the enclosure of a bathtub, you know, you've got each wall. Uh, if you look at it, it's not that much tile really, right? So uh, typically it's eight feet high and the tub starts at about three feet. So you've got about five feet by eight feet by five feet. So it's not a lot of tile for the bathroom. And if you just do that room by room and you can add up your materials, then you'll know what they cost. And that's really going to help you when you're trying to fix a house, make sure you're not getting ripped off. Now let's talk a little bit about the other component. Outside of materials, the other component is labor costs. So labor costs is a little bit more complex because it really depends on who you're using. So let's start out at the top. Your licensed general contractor, the guy who's doing real well, who's showing up at your job in his nice like Ford, you know, F-350 uh, truck, 
he's going to typically figure out what the cost of the job will be for labor and materials using his subs. And he's typically going to triple that amount when he gives you a quote. He's going to leave himself a little bit of a room and he'll take the job on at around double the amount. So if he quotes you 45 on a job, it's probably costing him 15. So your job as somebody who's fixing houses is to understand the components of the labor and the materials. So once we've got the materials out of the way, you've got to try and figure out what those subs would cost. And the best way you can do that is just going to job sites and even your own jobs and seeing what these people make, right? So you might find your average day laborer who may or may not even be legally employed. You know, he might work for $60, $70, $80 a day. Uh, once you go up to your more competent handyman, he might go at $120 or $150 a day. A, a very competent guy, the kind of guy that will go to Home Depot, buy the materials, and charge it on a commercial account and, and do the job. We only have to check on him, up on him maybe once a week. That typical guy is going to want around 200 a day. So the, the next component is understanding how long that job will take. So that's just a brief primer on understanding material and labor costs. It's not that difficult. The key is to just break it down. Are you looking to change your life through real estate investing? If you're interested in either getting started or taking your business to the next level, please check out FlipNerd's private program at theinvestormachine.com. This is the most robust real estate investor coaching, networking, and mastermind on the planet and designed for your success. If you're ready to roll up your sleeves, ready to take personal responsibility for your own success, and ready to dive into a world-class instructional coaching program that provides you step-by-step -step instruction to help you achieve financial freedom, then you should apply today. Spaces are limited and candidates are only considered after an application and interview process. Our 12-month investor program is unparalleled. Think you might be a fit? Learn more today at theinvestormachine.com. Please note, the views and opinions expressed by the individuals in this program do not necessarily reflect those of Flipner.com or any of its partners, advertisers, or affiliates. Please consult professionals before making any investment or tax decisions, as real estate investing can be risky. Are you a member yet of Flipner.com, the hottest real estate investing social community online? If not, you can join for free in less than 30 seconds and get access to hundreds of off-market deals, vendors in your market to help you in your business. And you can start networking with thousands of other investors just like you. Get your free account now at FlipNerd.com. Please check out the FlipNerd family of real estate investing shows where you can access hundreds of expert interviews, quick tips, and lessons from leaders across the real estate investing industry. They're available at FlipNerd.com slash shows or simply search for FlipNerd in the iTunes store.